Whether you're preparing for a single night trip or a multi-night getaway, there are going to be some items that you're going to want to make sure that you bring. In this video, I'm going to go through the seven must-have items any time that I plan on a trip. Stay tuned. Welcome to this episode of Big Man Overland. My name is Aaron, and in this episode, we're gonna go through what I believe are my top seven items that I must have anytime I go out and hit the trail. Whether it be from the kitchen setup to comfort to survival, you really need to make sure that before you ever leave your house, you have everything that you need. The last thing you want is to be in the middle of the forest or desert or somewhere else and go, Man, I wish I had that. These are some of those items I think are easy to forget, but are must have to bring along with you. Comfort is really important after a long day on the trails. You wanna sit back, relax, have your drink, enjoy the sunset. Perhaps when you wake up in the morning, you wanna enjoy the sunrise. And so having a nice chair and table set up is really gonna bring your trip to another level. So what I have here is a collapsible foldable end table. It looks like this. This thing is incredible. It's made of really lightweight aluminum, a lightweight aluminum top. It's a phenomenal side table. It sits about, you know, about a foot, maybe 16 inches up off the ground, but it's perfect height for you to set your drinks on as you're relaxing, perhaps you're putting your, your food there, whatever it might be. It's just a really nice thing to have it makes you feel a little bit at home while you're on the trail. You have a table to put your food on. Now you need something to put your butt in. And that brings up the portable chair. You know, you can have really big lawn chairs that you can get from Walmart and those will do the job. But again, if you're limited on the space like I am, a chair like this, the Helinox is phenomenal. This chair looks like this. This thing is awesome. This is rated for 320 pounds, which is perfect for me because I'm a big man. They do have a much smaller version for those who might not be 6'8", 350 pounds. It's made out of a really lightweight aluminum Christmas tree frame. It all pops right together, which is so awesome. It's made of a really thick, durable canvas material. All the seaming along the edges is phenomenal. Also has a really nice net back so that you're not getting too hot when you're sitting in this. Another great perk is that the case acts as a pillow. So you can stuff a coat or a sweatshirt or some clothes in it, set it on the back and you can lean back and have yourself a pillow on your chair. This Helinox is awesome. I highly recommend it. Before we hit the next category, I wanna invite you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and follow Big Man Overland. We're gonna be continuing to put out great content for you to enjoy to help you as you prepare to camp or overland. I'm a big man, 6'8", 350 pounds, a family of five. So if you're anywhere near that situation or you're just looking to have an adventure, this is a channel for you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. Now let's get back to the next category. We're gonna start with the most important aspect, in my opinion, for the kitchen, and that is coffee. When you wake up in the morning, it's a brisk, cool morning, nothing warms you up quite like a nice hot cup of coffee. There's many ways that you can prepare your coffee while on the trail. I prefer a good old percolator. Others prefer a French press or even the Aero Press. There's a lot of great options, so make sure that you choose the right one for you if you're a coffee or tea fanatic. Next is, what are you going to cook with? You know, for a lot of us, we might be going, well, I'm just gonna do some hot dogs over a flame, something like that, and that's all well and good, but nothing beats a really good cooked meal over a campfire or over a stove while at camp. Whether it be steak and eggs, or perhaps you're cooking up some really delicious tacos with a special salsa. There's a lot of great options, but what you need is cookware in order to do that. Space is limited for me and my Jeep, and it might even be the same for you. And so you wanna make sure that you have a system that is fully collapsible. For instance, in this case here, I'm able to have three pots 
plus a skillet. Each pot has its own lid. One, even with a strainer. So if you're cooking those noodles or whatever it might be, you have that. So make sure that you find yourself a really great cooking set that's gonna meet your needs. I'm a family of five, so I have this set, plus I have two other non-stick skillets that I take with me. When it's just me, it's this collapsible set. Make sure you pick out what's best for yours. So we know what we're cooking in, but what are the utensils that we're using to cook with? Again, something really simple that you might overlook as you prepare for your trip. And for many of us, I started out this way. I was grabbing the spatula from my stove container. I was grabbing knives and silverware. I was throwing them into a Ziploc baggie or a little plastic container and throwing them in the back of the Jeep. It works, there's no problem with that. But if you find that you're doing extended trips or you're going camping more than the occasional trip, find yourself a good collapsible system. In this bag, I have everything that I need. I have the ladle, the tongs, the spatula. I got even uh, a cloth in order to uh, do dishes with, salt and pepper, utensils, even a really great sharp knife. This is a great thing to have whether you're cooking up ramen or if you're cooking up steak and eggs or something else. Find yourself a really great utensil set that you can take with you on the trail. So you've cooked your meal, you have wiped your plate clean, you've had all the coffee from your cup. Well, now what? I, am I just going to just spray water or pour bottle water to try to clean it up? Or do I bring a cleaning bucket? These things are incredible. They're fully collapsible, making the space so limited and they open up so easily. We have two of these that we use, one for washing, one for rinsing. And they're really great for you to do your dishes inside. And then when you're done, collapse it down, put it away. These are awesome. They save you so much time. They save you so much water. Cause you just put a little bit of water and soap in there and you're good to go. So find yourself a good cleaning solution for your pots, plans, plates, and utensils. The final category is survival or recovery. I'm gonna be talking specifically about survival and one item in particular. But if you are going out on the trail, make sure you take recovery gear. A toe strap if you don't have a winch. Uh, take yourself a tire repair kit. Get you things that's gonna make sure that should you have any issues on the side of the road, that you can take care of yourself. Now, in regards to survival, I have this kit here. I honestly don't even know the name of the brand. I got it as a gift from my father-in-law. But this thing is incredible and you can get something very similar to it on Amazon or elsewhere. This kit with molly bag straps has an ax, a shovel, a compass, a glass breaker, a seatbelt cutter, a flint. Uh, it has, what else does it have? It's got a tool set. It's got so much stuff in it. It's unbelievable. And I know it didn't cost that much. I believe it was around $60. And this has actually helped me get other cars that were stuck out with the shovel. I've used it to chop wood with the ax. It is an awesome thing to have. Instead of having a big ax that you have, plus a shovel, plus whatever else you might have, you can have an all-in-one kit like this. Highly recommend it. So there you have it. Those are my top seven must-have items anytime that I go out and hit the trail. Comment below, let me know some of the things that you must have as you go out and hit the trail. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Big Man Overland as we talk through the seven must-have items if you were to go on a camping or overlanding trip. Make sure you check out some other videos on the channel, hit that subscribe button, and as always, adventure is calling. Are you gonna answer?